Hey, what's up guys? Jordan Anderson here from Valley Films, and on this episode we're going to go to our next cinematography lesson, and that is subtext. At the, subtext is what separates good cinematographers from great cinematographers. What is subtext? Subtext is the things that aren't said in the script, the things that aren't on the page of the screenplay. That's the hidden meanings, the themes, the political influences, the, the emotions of the character, all of that is subtext. So as a cinematographer, how do we convey subtext? How do we convey something that doesn't exist on the page? So when you're breaking down a scene as a cinematographer, you need to get a First, you need to find the subtext of the movie overall. So figure out what the movie is about, what its hidden meanings are, what the themes are. And, and, and probably you and someone else are not going to have the same meanings. Like it, It's almost like interpreting a book. You're, you're going to have very different meanings, uh, but it's all up to your own personal interpretation, which entails probably your cinematic style. Once you have sort of an overall understanding of the subtext of the movie, then you need to go to each scene and break down what is the scene truly about or what are the hidden meanings or what are the unspoken meanings of this scene. And you know some subtext can also be things like emotion. Emotion is a very powerful thing and using emotion as your primary subtext is a great place to start. Yeah, so you want to find the sort of recurring themes, the recurring emotions of the, of the movie, find the, what is the overall emotion of each scene, and then you want to try to figure out as a cinematographer how you can convey that emotion with the camera. And there are countless ways, I mean, it's, you know, it's like how do you paint a painting? Convey anger, stress, paranoia, if you want to convey happiness. This is where you as the DP are going to start developing your cinematic style. How would you convey anger using the camera? Not the actors. The actors can convey anger, but how is it you, the camera operator, or the DP, how are you going to convey anger with the camera? Uh, so with Kodak, I've broken it down, and I'm trying to figure out these hidden meanings. Uh, a lot of themes are paranoia, sort of voyeurism, uh, sort of a lack of focus. So with Kodak, I'm going to take those hidden themes, those hidden emotions and subtext, and translate that into camera motions. So maybe for paranoia, the camera's a little shaky, the camera is sort of maybe darting around, sort of scared, looking around, paranoid. For voyeurism, maybe do some camera angles that are a little bit stalker, a little bit creepy, a little bit kind of peeking around the corner, you know, kind of, uh, you know that's all that's all with just camera placement and blocking and then the third theme is focus and the first thing that comes to mind is focus so if there's a lack of focus in codec then maybe the lens will sometimes go out of focus or the the camera won't quite know which one to focus on because the scene overall lacks focus so those are things to keep in mind when you're breaking down your film if you are not the director or if you didn't write the script and you're a DP that's hired on, then it's good to talk with the director and sort of break down what the, where they're coming from, what's their thought process about the subtext, and then also come, come to the table with your original ideas about what the subtext is of this film. You know, bring your own interpretation because then you and the director can sort of collaborate. Well, well I think it's about this subtext is the most important part of the scene, and then you can say, well, I think it's this most important part, and then together you're able to sort of mesh those together and bring out that subtext even further, but also as a DP, you're able to convey that with the camera. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video about subtext. We're gonna make a lot more videos about subtext because it's such a crucial part of cinematography and directing and the whole subject of subtext is just so broad and open to interpretation that one video can't do it justice. So thanks for watching guys, my name is Jordan Anderson, and we'll see you next time in the Valley Films video blog.